Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, so very rarely do we have inventory that comes in available, uh, but we happen to have a few units that we picked up from our Grand Junction store and brought up here to Frederick, Colorado, giving me an opportunity to show you a, an, an available 2022 Newmar Country Star. This is such a gorgeous, un, gorgeous unit. Now, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, I'm at 303-562-8659. And if you look down below, you can see that not only are we live on Facebook, we also record all of these videos uh, three days, I'm sorry, three times five days a week. So we have 15 videos a week coming at you. Um, you can find those on YouTube at TTTRV, and you can find all of my videos at RVs Inside Out as well. If you're looking for more information, please look down and click. You can follow through to all of our inventory, and you'll find videos on just about everything that we have in stock. Uh, so please, Go ahead and take her on back, Jody. Let's take a look at this fantastic model. Now I am gonna go ahead. There's somebody parking out here, if you can hear that. Oh, it's a big Prevo. So we carry all sorts of RVs here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. But one of the things that's super exciting about this store is that not only do we carry a ton of inventory uh, for Newmar, we also carry Renegade and we also carry Winnebago. And so we have a really nice variety of coaches. Uh, this coach is a really, really nice fit for people who are looking for something that they're gonna get away from for a week or two, uh, several times a year. It also would be a really good RV for anybody who's looking to get into something that is nice and a diesel pusher at that entry level, but still wants high quality finishes. Things like featured ceilings, you can see all that beautiful backlighting up there, uh, the soft touch ceiling as well. Also, you'll notice that we have a very, very luxurious cabin here, king size bed. Uh, there are uh, vents on either side of that headboard. We've got puck lights up here that are reading lights. We've got controls here in the center as well, which is a really, really nice feature. Uh, highly underrated. If you get to bed and you want to turn the lights off and you've got to get up and go somewhere, wow, you know, what an inconvenience versus having a touch of a button right above your head. Also, you'll note that we have lots of great overhead storage, beautiful wallpaper, and there is uh, two 110 outlets up here. Now, see, previously we would mention these 110 outlets for CPAP machines. Uh, what I like to tell people now is that there are some grommets that feed down below uh, up to the headboard. You could use this to charge your iPad, power your uh, computer, your laptop, whatever it might be. But if you're looking to have a CPAP machine, I've heard that it's better to have it at or below heart level. And one of the things that's really nice about this Country Star, uh, which is a quad side, this is the 3717, uh, but this Country Star has not only huge underbed storage, but a great place where you could keep a CPAP machine right next to an outlet. It would be at the right level for your heart, so therefore also much safer for you. Um, not as much room on the uh, one side of the bed as it is in the rear side of the bed. Uh, so that's important to note, but that's why we make these videos so that you can have all of that information. Now you'll notice I have my clipboard resting on one of the nightstands. There are nightstands on both sides of this bed. Now this is the Roca interior. I really love the Roca. It's got kind of a dark navy blue with gray. Uh, there's two USB ports as well as a 110. And then a lot of storage in there. Um, this is one of the things that Numar does that I really appreciate. It's nice to be able to keep, you know, the sultry novel, water bottle, whatever it might be next to your bedside so you don't forget it while you're camping. And then you'll note we have a ton of storage here. And there's all of these little LED lights everywhere. So low, uh, low voltage, uh, gonna be low draw lights, and just a ton of storage. What a great place to be able to, I've seen this a number of times, set up a vanity with a mirror, just so you could do your makeup in the, in the morning, have everything, you know, just bedside. Great place to sit. Uh, and then here you'll see that we also have a fantastic feature where we have not only an ability to have a washer and dryer, but this unit has been equipped without. So for those of you that are going to use this a little more infrequently, that don't need to have a washer and dryer with you while you go camping, tons of extra storage area. As you can see, everything is pre-wired here. We would be happy to put a Splendid in, uh, in this closet if you would prefer that instead. Now, 
One of the things to note about the Country Star, I am running our eight kilowatt generator right now and I'm running our air conditioner. It has been so hot here in Colorado. Um, what's really nice, this coach is actually a little bit chilly. It's somewhat cool even. Uh, and that's, I got here at about 8.30 this morning and I've been running it for the last hour or so, completely unplugged in. Uh, of course it does have 50 amp service, but I'm running off of the generator right now. And the generator is an eight kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator powering two 15,000 uh, BTU uh, air conditioning units, one in the front and one in the rear. Uh, these are really nice, but there's no noise. So if I was sleeping right now, I would be able to run that generator because in the Country Star, this is the first diesel offering we have with the 6.7 liter ISB that has uh, 800 foot pounds of torque and a 360 horsepower engine where the generator is in the front and the engine is in the rear. So this is that segment where you start to get into the diesel pusher as opposed to the diesel puller. Really, really huge benefit for those of you that are looking to be able to go uh, off, off grid that might want to go boondocking so that when your auto gen start kicks on, you're not going to hear it in your bedroom. So very, very nice aspect of this Country Star. Uh, Country Star has uh, a number of models that they actually offer. They have two that are 34 foot. So for those of you looking to have a shorter coach for better park access, that is available. Of course, this is one of their two 37 foot models. And then we also have four models that are 40 foot as well. None of these will have the tag axle. That tag axle is something that you move into when you get into the Ventana line. And we'll talk a little bit about that differentiation. Um, but before we do, we'll just cover your auto, audio video cabinet here. Of course, you've got your Samsung 4K smart TVs. Uh, you've got lots of overhead storage here. Look at how deep that is. So much great storage in this coach. Probably one of the best coaches for storage that I've come across uh, in the recent years. This has got a ton of space in it. So for those of you that have a lot of stuff or just bring a lot of family members, uh, as you can see, we've got MCD shades throughout, day and night shades, as well as an emergency exit here. In this coach, we actually opted for the extra egress door, which I'll show you as well. Uh, but first, let's just take a look at all of your drawer storage all of your cabinet storage. And then as I close this, I'm gonna show you something that really means a lot to me. Not only do I have a ton of counter space here, but I also really like the fact that not only do I have these very big deep drawers, nice high quality wood construction. Of course, we've grown to expect that from our people in Napanee, but take a look at this. I have a place where I can sit down and put my socks and shoes on that isn't the bed, which is a much more convenient height for me. So getting ready in the morning, it's just a luxury in this coach. And there's plenty of space to walk around on both sides of this king size bed if you need to use the facilities at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, this with it closed. So just as you can see, there's a really nice separation of front to aft cab. And then what's really interesting about this little RV is because it is a quad slide, you have a much bigger restroom than you would normally have in a, um, in a 37 foot coach. And when I say a much bigger restroom, what I'm talking about is the shower. So the shower is a 30 by 40 shower. And I'm gonna get Jody past the door and then go ahead and go on in. So you'll see that there to the left. So what's really nice about this shower is most of the showers in this segment are going to be the 35 inch radius. Um, this 34, I'm um, sorry, 30 by 40 shower for a big person has a lot of uh, shoulder room, a lot of elbow room. As you can see, we've got the skylight above, so you've got plenty of headroom. You're on a slide with your wand. Uh, so this is a really, really nice feature. Um, this shower is absolutely uh, bigger than most that you'll find even on things like the Ventana. Now here we have our egress door. I talk about this a lot where all you have to do is unlock it and you can open it up. If you need to escape, there's a magnetic cover where our ladder deploys. But more importantly, if you want to just load your coach up, it's super simple to get everything in. And then look at all the, again, storage in this RV. Um, so super nice here. So we'll talk a bit about some of the nicer features. So the Dometic is really cool. This fills your tank so you can have water in there um, before you use the toilet. This is the flush button. But this little orange or this little light here will illuminate orange whenever your tanks are full. So very nice, you've got a 45 gallon sewage tank, you've got a 65 gallon gray water tank, and you've got 105 gallons of fresh water. So 
lots and lots of capacity uh, out there for you. Uh, and this in this price point, there's really no uh, coach that is uh, going to compete at this level, especially this one has a tankless wa hot water heater. So you would normally have a 10 gallon um, water tank for your hot water, but this is actually outfitted with a tankless hot water heater, which is also just a great luxury. Um, and then, I mean, how nice is this? Look at this vessel sink, you know, that's above your beautiful polished surface. You know, just a really, really nice feature. Uh, we also have a fantastic fan with a rain sensor and a beautiful tile backsplash. I mean, so everything on this coach is super, super high end. And really in this segment, you're getting so much. Of course, we also have a towel or a robe hook, which is a really nice feature in an RV because when you're getting in the shower, of course, it's nice to have a place to keep your robe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close this rear section of the coach up because I'd like to be able to show you uh, from the outside what it will look like in. Uh, now, again, this quad slide gives you just a really, really nice uh, mid bath, but right below the door on the right hand side of the uh, bathroom, you'll see that we have a kick plate there for plugging in your central vac. And then just to the right of that, we also have the kick plate to sweep into. So that's a sweep plate. So really, really nice feature uh, to have on, uh, you know, what we'd be considered an entry level diesel pusher, but really to be very candid with you, that, that term, uh, as much as it's what we use to describe where this RV sits in this segment, um, is really not fair because it's such a high level of finish comparable to anything out there in terms of, you know, a diesel pusher with a front engine generator in a 37, 34, or 40 foot coach. This is a really high end finish. Uh, so you also get a few extra pantries here with this, uh, st with this stationary mid section. Again, this is a benefit of that quad slide. And it, it's so crazy how much cubby space you have here. I mean, if you're taking the grands out and you wanna be able to stock up and leave your, your RV down at the lake, you, you could absolutely do that with this coach. And then there's all this really nice storage above like where you could put you know, your cooking trays. Uh, you do have a convection and microwave oven so you can make cookies, uh, those types of things. And then this Norcold is not only uh, made in America, but it's also got an ice maker in it. So this is a nice four door refrigerator. As you can see, a ton of storage here. Um, great place to keep popsicles, you know, for those frozen drink cups, we use those a lot. All of your ice, keep some uh, of your, you know, chicken and, bar and uh, hamburger patties, anything that you wanna freeze so you've got, you know, things that'll last a little a bit longer on your trip, but a really big uh, refrigerator. And as I said, Norcol is made in America, so you are supporting our economy in that purchase, which is awesome. We love to see that. Okay, so I mentioned that you had this Whirlpool uh, convection microwave oven. I mean, this is the same microwave oven you're gonna find in a Dutch Star. This is a really nice piece of equipment to have in the RV. Uh, below that, you'll see that we have our three burner propane stove. Uh, you've got a 32 gallon propane tank, so that's a ton of propane uh, on this RV. Um, so lots and lots of cooking space. These covers are so nice, they actually provide a bit of a backsplash, if you will, so you won't get grease uh, back here. And then on the left, you'll see that we also have a nice kitchen window, as well as two outlets above. So a great place to plug in your coffee pot or anything along those lines, your grinder, whatever you need. And then again, just so much storage in this RV. Just really, really great, useful storage. Tons of dish space and glasses. There's even an outlet up here in the cubby. You wanna maybe keep a computer out of sight and charging. Now, you'll note that there's this kind of interesting L shape. So you're, when you're prepping, you're gonna be able to talk with everybody and, and kind of you know, prepare your meal with a lot of counter space. Uh, this is stationary. So when this slide comes in, it's literally gonna come in over the top. But before I show that to you, um, I love these little suburban stoves. Uh, the three burners give you a great towel rack, which we don't have when we have those induction cooktops but look at how deep these drawers are. Again, just so much storage in here. It's just, it's incredible, honestly, folks. For a 37 foot coach to have this much storage is just incredible. Um, and then you'll note here, we have two Bose sound system remotes. Um, I have to say, we just went to the Red Hot Chili Peppers with our Superstar and we sat outside and watched videos on our uh, 4K TV through YouTube. Uh, of the Red Hot Chili Peppers before we went in. We did a little bit of tailgating. 
and we used that Bose sound bar that was fantastic. Made me so happy. We had such a fun time. It was a graduation present for my son and daughter. So here you'll see the sink covers down below. And then my favorite thing, of course, that Numar does, I love a scrubby drawer. Great place to keep a bottle brush, some sponges. You, know, you always have what you need. And then of course we have this really fantastic spray and pour faucet, dual uh, under mount sinks. Um, these stainless sinks, of course, very useful for doing dishes and conserving water. But again, with 65 gallons of gray water, you've really got quite a bit of gray water, which is really quite impressive. Okay, so uh, we, I, we mentioned the continuous hot water heater. We talked about the fantastic fans with a rain sensor, the heat pumps, and the two, um, two air conditioners front and rear, king size bed, nor cold kitchen window. Okay, we've got most of this stuff. Now, what we haven't talked about yet is going to be our galley. So first and foremost, there is one seat belt here underneath the seat and then there's also great drawer storage on both sides um, i've actually found that we're using these drawers for placemats and dishes so we're keeping our dishes down low i don't know what will work for your family of course everyone's got their own setup i should do a video on mine uh, this drops this is the cushion that goes in the middle creates a nice little bed here as you can see another emergency exit window here as well as a nice window to open so I really like that you can get a lot of cross ventilation in this coach. So even you've got windows here that open, windows here that open, and then again, you can still use your blackout shades or your day shades because you've got both here. And so if you've got anyone who's sleeping up front, you can. Now this coach has been, uh, uh, has been equipped with some really cool optional seating features. So we opted not only for these fantastic recliners, um, the recliners are so nice because first of all, there's a ton of storage. Again, there's that S word. But look at all the storage underneath in this center armrest. But not only that, you have these really cool power recliners, right? So this is like so luxurious. And everyone always wants to know if you could sleep in them. So I'm gonna show you, that's as flat as they go. I could certainly see myself taking a nap, but I'm a side sleeper, so I would probably need to use a bed in the front area to sleep. And that's another option that we've elected for in this RV. We also have the optional electric, or I'm sorry, it's optional trifold sofa. So this is a trifold sofa, which is a queen size bed. So it's really, this coach is so well equipped. And of course you can see your 58 inch uh, 4K smart TV. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and I'll show you how this sofa folds out. But this is just such a great space and there's outlets everywhere. So there's two 110s to the left of the dinette. There's another 110 to the right of the dinette. Then you've got another two USB ports here underneath your wall light. And then you also have USB ports in these chairs. On both of these, you've got charging ports. So no one needs to fight over who's charging what. But one of the things I really wanna talk about that's so important that we don't cover very often is right here. So this is so cool, ceiling, dinette, seating, wall. So I can turn everything off with the touch of the button. There is an all lights off switch above your bed, but I also have high and low. So I can change the, the brightness in the coach at night so that it's not on quite as bright. I can also, these glow, so I can find the light switches at night when it's really dark and you're camping and you can't find light switches. It's kind of inconvenient. So in this 2022 Country Star, you no longer have that little black switch to flip up and down like you would in our base star level. You've gone into the silver leaf touch panel system and it's a huge difference maker. Uh, that and central vac are just such nice luxury features that you don't find in any other manufacturer. And they're, for people who are out actually in the field camping, I can't tell you how blown away I am by the difference uh, that those little, those little nuances that are provided by Numar make in being comfortable. Um, so all of you know, I really like to have my cushions connected, but in this case, I think that this is definitely the best layout because you've got plenty of room to keep all your cushions right on your recliners, right? So you can stick them right there and then always pull your release cord up first and then lift simultaneously. Comes out nice and easy. There's your other two seat belts. So you've got a total of five seat belts in this unit. And then look at the size of this trifold. So how nice is it that you can have both 
a great queen bed that you can totally walk around, like lots and lots of room, and recliners all at the same time. So you can really um, have your company come. If you've got your son and daughter, perhaps, that want to come camping with you, put the littles over there in the dinette area. They've got plenty of room for your kids. I mean, this is just such a nice, uh, flexible unit that will give you so much dexterity when you're out there on the road having a good time with your family. It's just such a great outfitted coach. Really love this. And again, this is a 3717. And this is the same floor plan that one of our reps has. So you know whenever the rep has something, it's probably the best. So if you just hold this handle when you go down, Bob Tapper, if you're watching my video right now, check that out. I did the couch, just so you guys know. If you haven't watched my videos before, I have over 100 videos, probably close to 150 at this point. And I think that 149 of them, I have a hard time with a couch. So <laughs> don't, ever feel, don't ever feel silly. If you ever want to feel better about your, uh, your couch skills, just watch one of my videos. I have a hard time with couches. Anyway, so there's that. A little more storage up here, of course. Um, a lot of people say, why is there boxes here? You've got wiring throughout the coach, but as opposed to making some silly looking little cabinet with a drop down, we spend the extra money, make a nice hard panel to cover the entire opening. Looks classy. Again, there's that Bose sound bar. If you're watching a movie, this thing is so cool. You just turn it on, turn it up, turn the TV sound all the way down, get surround sound with your Bose sound bar. Just sounds absolutely incredible. And again, just more cabinet space. So much throughout this coach. And again, another two 110 outlets here. There's also another two 110 outlets down here as well. And I wanna say, yep, here's our desk. So this is a really nice feature. Love that, going down the road. And then the way that I have the um, shades drawn right now in the front, that's actually, I could drive with the shades down as far as you see them. So this is, uh, they are restricted. They w the day shade will not go any lower than this, but this is actually really nice that you could put this down. So if you've got a big glare coming towards you, you've got plenty of, uh, plenty of shade to keep the sun out of your eyes, just to keep you a little bit safer. Now, this seat does rotate and it also has a recliner. There we go. Just gotta pull it forward a little bit before I turn it around. This seat uh, turns around, but it does not have a recliner on it. So just so you know. So if you are looking to have um, a large group of people, as you can imagine, with this seat turned around, the two theater seats, your couch, this is a great place to hang out with the family. Um, and of course, when we're camping, that's what we're trying to do. We're supposed to, you know, we're spending more time with our children. We're spending more time with our kids. We're making memories. Uh, you know, we're of course seeing that fantastic gift that God has given us of the USA. But on top of it, we're getting out there and it might be raining. I might get stuck inside. Well, if I do, I can come in here and put up, you know, a card table and play some gin rummy and you know laugh a lot and tell stories and and just get to really enjoy the people that are important in my life so i love this setup um of course there's another great place to store water bottles anything along those lines you know snacks for your puppies whatever that might be and how nice that you have an end table here to keep a cocktail you know just super 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 cool um so like i said i think that this is probably one of the coaches that is most important to know uh, because another thing to mention these chairs these big puffy chairs with these nice armrests i mean these are so soft and comfortable if you're going to be making a lot of you know time on the road going on a nice road trip maybe going to disney world with the kids you know you want to be comfortable so you get your armrests in place oh look at i just took my magnet there we go put that back um oh there's a little release in here to let it go lower but check that out. I mean, how comfortable. Like, this is such a great machine. And then on top of it, go ahead and get this dash light up. So 
So an all glass Freightliner custom chassis dash. Look at your control panels. How fast am I going? Here's all my gauges. How much fuel do I have? Look at that beautiful layout. I mean, this is such a classy ride. And then on the right here, I've got my nav and go navigation systems up, but I can still see my rear view camera at all points in time. Or if I'm making a lane change, I still have my cameras, which will illuminate on the right hand side. So really, really nice to have all of these things set up so that I can see what I'm doing while I'm driving and still have my navigation up. Or if I want to listen to my radio, I can have that up as well. Just a really, really, oops, let's see if I can get menu. There we go. So here's all my radio controls. I can do my Bluetooth. Uh, you know, everything is, is all right here. And then when you're driving, if you want to make a phone call or answer the phone, we know that you don't want to have to look over, even though this is very driver centric, we know that you want to have everything at the touch of a button. So we have all of your controls here to hang up, dial, your volume controls, your cruise control. And then you have your menu controls here. And we are going to go through some of these menu controls. You might not be able to see this as well as I can. I'm just going to tell you right down here at where it says dash brightness, Bluetooth, units, so I could set it to metric if I wanted to, steering effort. What I can do is I can actually turn my comfort drive steering up and down. That has got to be one of the biggest differences that you're going to find in a new Mar. When you are going down the road and you are fighting the headwinds and you're you know, trying to stay straight, this wheel will actually keep you going straight the entire time effortlessly because its propensity is to want to go forward. Now it's very, very easy to drive. You still have that great soft steering effort when you are putting effort on the wheel. But when you are just going straight down the road, this RV is going to hold your steering wheel straight and you can adjust that more and less. So comfort drive steering is going to be probably one of the most important features that you're going to find on a Numar. So very, very proud that we can offer that to you. As you can see, I can show all of the information that I like. I can change my gauges because I have this great system where I have um, this beautiful glass dash, you know, with all of the digital features. Of course, headlights here. Uh, I've got my dome lights. I've got my heated exterior, convex mirrors, very easy to see as well. Uh, and then over here, I'm going to go ahead and just lean back. We've got our equalizer leveling system. What's really nice about this equalizer leveling system is it also has uh, an app that you can use with either Android or Apple. So you've got an app for your equalizer leveling system. Um, as you can see here, we've got our, our uh, windshield washer, our turn signals, our headlights. But more importantly, take a look at this. You have an engine brake on and off, as well as this is where you shift. So I've taken this little arm area where we usually would have Allison transmission. Our Allison transmission is still fully enforced, but it's over here on a stock control. Just very, very convenient layout. Uh, dash AC and everything is very straightforward. You've got USB ports right here. There's two of them for your phone as well as a 12 volt outlet there for your radar detector. If you are, need a radar detector in your RV, you're crazy by the way, but hey, you know what? I know some crazy people. Um, okay, so another nice storage area. Again, we've got our visor and our shades down today. The overhead fans for those of you that used to see the little fans that would you know come down and oscillate back and forth, we still have those. They're just, um, they're just now integrated above this layout here in the top. Uh, we do have an air horn. I can turn that off. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. It just sounds so silly. Anyway, that's true. Um, okay, so let's talk about overhead storage. So this is just going to be the cover for your, uh, for your side shades here. But here you have everything to control your uh, inverter. You've got you know, your power control system telling you where your power is coming from what's on, what's off, all of it's very easy to read right here. Uh, your tank leveling is just the same as you would have um, on any of our high-end units. You've got fresh gray and black, all rating zero. Your 32 gallon LP tank is full. It's got 100% fuel there. You can see your house charge, your chassis charge for your batteries, control your water pump. All of your HVAC is set up right here. You can turn everything on and off with the touch of a button, turn on all your fans. And then you also have all of your power ratings here. It's telling you that I've got my generator running. I can turn that on and off, not only inside here, but also outside. And I can set this up so that if I need to 
um, leave, you know, for the day and I've got my, um, and I, and I've got, you know, my refrigerator on and I don't want it to, you know, freeze all or, un, or thaw out and unfreeze all my popsicles and such. I can set it so my generator will uh, turn on automatically. And so uh, that is an eight kilowatt uh, quiet diesel generator and Onan. And that is literally, I can feel it vibrating under my feet right now. That's right here under this engine compartment or under where your engine would be, would be on a Canyon Star. So now I've got the generator in the front and the engine in the back, giving me a really, really quiet experience while camping, especially at night, if I need to have that thing turn on to get my air conditioning going, maybe it gets a little too warm in here, that generator will turn on automatically so I can have some, some cool air. I am gonna go ahead and turn my awnings on. I'm hoping I can get this carefree system to uh, extend. It's not so breezy today. It looks like it's going out right now. Usually um, when it's so hot like it is, uh, we have been having pretty high wind gusts, so I don't usually show awnings. Uh, but this is a really nice feature on this coach. I want to make sure we can show you this huge awning that's outside. So we'll get to that too. Carefree does have an app as well. Um, and I'm going to put the one over the door out too. You know, this is a huge difference maker. Um, on uh, Saturday night, we went up to Mile High Stadium and decided to go do some tailgating in our RV. And it just made a big difference to have that awning out. Uh, now you'll note that you see the WineGuard satellite system. We've got the little dome satellite up top there. So if you want to plug in your dish receiver, you're welcome to. Uh, we've also upgraded this to the right to the Razor um, uh, antenna. So you have an electronic antenna. I'll turn that on, and it'll just tell you how many stations you have coming in as well. As I mentioned earlier, you've got a tankless hot water system instead of having, um, you know, a 10-gallon capacity. You have a endless uh, amount of hot water through your Truma system so you can be plugged into fresh water and sewer and take a shower the whole entire time you're camping. It'd be so fun. Uh, here's the brains of the operation. So as you can see very tidy everything is labeled your breaker box is very accessible so are all of your fuses and then a little extra storage up here because we're Numar and we do things the right way. So very very cool. Uh, Jody I'm gonna get out of your way I'm going to go ahead and let you out. And if you would just be so kind as to take a look at that uh, house battery on and off. I'm going to show where the chassis on and off is on your way out. I Oh, yeah. Do I want to roll it in? Let's roll it in, folks. Thank God for my friend Jody. Not only does he do a fantastic job on the camera, he keeps me in line. Because I'll tell you, I'm a little bit of a dingbat, but I'm awfully nice. And that's what counts. And I'm accountable and I answer emails. But if you email me and I don't get back to you, it's because I forgot and then just email me again. But I do a really good job most of the time. But we do, we get so busy. Like Mondays, oh my gosh. I am like in video land until noon on Mondays, every Monday. So feel free to reach out and if you don't hear back from me, just remind me that you're there. Uh, this is another great benefit. So it's good that we caught this because I love that you have a side dock that's automatic. Um, you know, in the Renegades, they have a slide lock that needs to be installed. So this is a really nice feature not to have to install anything to lock your slides. It just locks automatically with Numar. Look at that slide. That is a big slide. And again, so this quad slide really makes a huge difference in the amount of uh, storage that you can have in here. As you can see, once again, that island is uh, stationary, so it stays, but I can walk all the way back little sideways shuffle here just because I have the cushion, but very, very easy uh, access. And I'm going to leave all my notes for the inside in here, and I'll take my outside notes. Um, so I do a lot of research um, on these so that you don't have to. And the funny thing is, is it just makes me better at what I do for a living. But I have these great sheets that have all the specs. So here it talks about the you know, 360 horsepower, the torque rating, talks about the, the uh, G, GVWR, so uh, 37,500 pounds. This coach has a carry capacity of 9,000 pounds. That is so impressive. It uh, talks about the Allison 3000 six-speed transmission, diesel, 100 gallon fuel tank, 10 gallon def tank. Um, it talks about the wheel cut being 54 degrees for front wheels, that's so amazing. It talks about V-Ride. V-Ride's what gives you that feeling of being stable in mountain passes so you're not really tippy. So you've got comfort drive and V-Ride. 
Um, but more importantly, it talks about things like brake sync. So what brake sync means is that there's actually a brake line that charges a cylinder underneath. And if your air brakes were ever to fail, you would actually be able to um, still control the, whatever you're flat towing, which is such an amazing thing. Um, so all of these, it, all of this information is available to you. I can, I can email this to you. Talks about the towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, what type of tires are, the size, um, the battery, the, um, the alternator, everything is covered here. Um, and it's such a nice feature um, because Freightliner provides this information for us. And it just makes us not only uh, better at what we do, but it makes it easier for the consumer to understand all the benefits that they have in our product, which I really like. So I'm going to go ahead and stop both the generator and the engine just so it's nice and quiet. Um, one thing I constantly get is um, people who talk about how quiet this RV is going down the road, and that is due to the construction that Newmar has. Um, so I wanted just to show off really nice screen door with lots of, lots of air coming through once again. Big window, um, but I did put this awning out today just because it's not quite as breezy as it is usual. So really nice to keep your awning covered. Um, here's your dual fill gas tank. So all of your diesel is on this side. Your uh, def tank is in the rear on this coach on the opposite side. And then as you can see here, big compartment for storage. And then once again, our foundation, you can see these, these chassis rails are um, raised above um, that drivetrain. So you're gonna have a much, much quieter ride going down the road. And so people ask me a lot, they say, well, why is the Newmar so much quieter than the competition? And if you were to look at uh, a sedan versus an SUV, what's the biggest difference in the construction quality of that coach or that, RV, or that car? It's the elevation off of the road. So the further I can get my RV off of the ground um, with that V ride intact, so I still don't have the sway, um, not only do I have a much better base storage with a ton more storage, but also I have a quieter ride going down the road when I couple that with a three inch thick subfloor and great insulation. Um, now you'll see here this pass through area is absolutely ginormous. And then out here is where you have access to your inner vac. So your, uh, your air, or I'm sorry, your air conditioner. <laughs> Your your uh, your vacuum cleaner can be attached out here as well. So if you want to vacuum off the kids or the dogs before you put them away, you're welcome to. Also nice to have some 110 outlets out here in case while you're sitting down and watching Stranger Things, that's been our new thing to do while we're camping. If it starts raining, um, you can make a margarita. And then of course our TV. Now one of the things to note about this television, I know it feels like it's low, but if you're sitting in um, any of those fantastic, you know, collapsible lawn chairs that they have. This is such a great shade. It keeps all of the sun off of the television screen so you can actually see what you're watching. Um, and it's, it's in a really great location. I actually prefer it a lot to the ones that are up high because I don't have bar stools while I'm camping. Um, so as we mentioned earlier, Michelin tires, 22 and a half inch. Uh, these are 25 by 70s. This is a big, beefy uh, wheel set. So you're gonna have great ride quality going down the road. Uh, nice compartment here with a little light if you want to keep something, you know, in there. Um, certainly one of the things I would consider is a propane tank. We do carry an Outlander fire pit. That would be a great place for that. Oops. That one was a little tough earlier. Here we go. So we talked earlier about wanting to do, uh, show you where the chassis on and off switch is. So this is for the chassis. The house, of course, is on the way out the door. And then around back, we're going to find our five uh, 5,000 pound hitch capacity as well. Um, again, powered by Freightliner. And there's your 5,000 pound hitch capacity as well as that brake sink. So here's that airline. All you need is an adapter to get that blue, that, uh, blue ox to work. And then you've got your seven pin connector as well. And look at the size of that radiator, lots of air, lots of breathing, but you can also check your engine oil right here as well. And then the optional ladder. Um, you know, I don't normally want a ladder, but right now my rear air AC went out uh, while we were camping and it would have been kind of fun to have a ladder, but I don't have a ladder. So 
if your AC goes out, you could check it up right there with your ladder, I guess. Good stuff. Um, block heater's not plugged in right now, of course. It's like 100 degrees. <laughs> you probably don't need that. And then, um, okay, the only, there's not any room for one, so I understand why they do it. They don't give me an option for a power cord reel. Um, this is not a selling point. It's something that makes me sad because I like a power cord reel. But it's better that you know about it now than you get here, pick up your RV, and find out there's not one in that bay. So there's not one in that bay. There is a surge protector, though. There is a coax cable access point. There is a light. Um, this is a fantastic coach, but yes, that's you can't get everything uh, in every RV or they would all cost the same. Uh, this is a great place to keep your blackwater hose and some gloves. Really big bay compartment here as well as your DEF tank. As I mentioned, this is the only fueling center for DEF, so you'll, you want to make sure you fill it passenger, so, I'm sorry, driver's side when you pull into that tank. Um, we went to a place yesterday, and it's funny, you know, it's so much easier when you can just pull in and dual fill your RV, fill it your DEF, get it all done in one stop, and uh, absolutely in our superstar, uh, it just took, it took like 10, 15 minutes and we were up and ready to go because we had both of those uh, tanks filling in the front with diesel while we filled up our DEF. Um, okay, so water filter here is a whole house water filter. Like I said, Numar does not know how to do things uh, halfway. They do everything all the way. As you can see here, your, your uh, black water hose goes through a nice uh, grommet down below. You also have a drain plug here, so if you want to clean the bay out, you can do that. You also have hot and cold water outside. Just a really, really great, um, great setup here for fresh water. And you still have, um, this is like the most important thing for me. Uh, we use our outside shower all the time to rinse off our paddle boards and kids and anything else, our feet after we come back from the beach, before we go in the RV. Uh, these are the hoses for your Vacuum cleaner. And then this is an airline so that you can fill up your tires. You can reach uh, all of your tires with that airline. Here are your batteries. This coach is going to come with four house batteries. So 400 amp hours of battery uh, power. And then again, 32 gallons of uh, propane. Huge propane tank, very easy to use. Um, again, here is that other uh, uh, diesel fueling station, again, for a 100-gallon fuel tank. Uh, the Alcoa rims, when we talk about these really nice rims, these are going to have uh, less reverberation, they're going to be quieter, and they're going to be cooler going down the road. So lots of benefit to that rim. Uh, of course, like I said, Newmar just can't do anything halfway. Um, here is the release for our, our generator. We'll get to that in just a second. As you can see, very clean and neat engine bay here with spare fuses as well. And then, oh, our side camera indicator. So we've got one on each side. Nice, again, convex mirrors. I actually, we do these in chrome a lot, to be very honest with you. I think that this looks great. Their body color, they match the whole way down. Again, this is the Roca exterior, the Roca interior, uh, the Arctic wood finish. There's your eight kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator. Just to the right of that's your airline. So if you need to air up your tires, you can do that as well. And to the right of that are those great air horns that we talked about earlier. Again, just a fantastic offering uh, by Numar. Of course, all double plane windows, huge, huge windshield, gigantic windshield wipers, comfort drive. Uh, again, this is a country star, and when you know the difference, you definitely know that you need to buy a Numar. There are so many feature benefits, uh, even at this very, very nice first offering of a rear engine diesel pusher. Like I said, there's eight models. I would love to help you with anything you'd like to have in your driveway. Please give me a call. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And today we're looking at stock number 5N210783. And this is a Newmar Country Star 3717 2022. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let me know how I can help you get on the road and get camping. Thanks so much.